Dice you can see from space, missing artifacts, foot handprints in lava. On this episode of Rat and Cat, 13 Mysteries of the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. <coughs> Welcome to Rat and Cat, where we search for those who've gone missing so others can learn how to survive. I'm Nakia. In the last few years, while I've been searching for missing people working on cold cases in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest, I've come across a number of odd true life mysteries that intrigue me. Here's a countdown of some of the most fascinating mysteries of the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. Number 13, giant space dice. While looking over maps in my searches, something caught my eye. Carved in the forest are the shapes of several giant dice that you can only see from space. I've asked a number of Forest Service employees if they know anything about them. And to date, no one seems to know anything. That's led me to ponder, do space aliens gamble? Number 12, missing people. People mysteriously disappear in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. For the most part, people go missing simply by getting lost or succumbing to the elements. But there are a number of unsolved cases. It's interesting that when you look at the United States, the Pacific Northwest seems to have an above average occurrence of missing people. Stories include human feet and shoes found floating in the ocean around Vancouver, BC. In many cases, they don't find the body at all, just the feet. Also, there seems to be an unusually high risk of indigenous women disappearing. Still, it's important to note that overall, the percentage of people who vanish is actually pretty small. Number 11, Mount St. Helens. I think this natural wonder is overlooked and full of mystery. This recently active volcano continues to change on a daily basis. I've had the pleasure of circumnavigating it on a solo backpacking trip and every face of the mountain is different. From the otherworldly landscapes and abundant wildlife to the large streams that appear and disappear out of nowhere, it's an ever shifting landscape. And on my backpacking trip, as I had breakfast by a small river, the river rose about one foot and changed color three times. Number 10, streams that run backwards. While searching for Christopher Zitzwitz, some of the maps showed the streams running down the valley towards the river, as you would expect. These maps were completely wrong though. Instead, the creeks flow the opposite way towards the mountains where they disappear into hidden sinkholes and lava tubes. Number nine, Bigfoot. There have been many people who say they've seen Bigfoot in the Gifford Pinchot, but it's actually against the law to shoot Bigfoot in Skamania County and can result in a $10,000 fine. I personally didn't believe in Sasquatch until I came across some tracks in a remote area, as I've documented on this channel. Then a year later, my nephew and brother found several tracks seven miles away from anything. So now I'm starting to believe in the big guy. Number eight, the disappearing lake. Every year in the spring, South Prairie fills with water from the winter melt for several months. The strange thing is, it usually drains completely in just one day. It's believed that the lava tube fills with ice, damming the lake, and then thaws rapidly in the warmer weather, draining the temporary lake. Seven, an ancient spearhead vanishes. A few years back, a group was exploring Dead Horse Cave, the longest lava tube in North America, when a boy in the group looked down and saw a spearhead laying on the floor of the cave. As the law requires, he notified the Forest Service. I actually spoke with the archaeologist who received it. At the time, he didn't want to talk on the record about it, but he said from the style it would appear to be about 10,000 years old. Since then, the archaeologist is no longer around and the position held, he held in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest has been terminated and no one seems to know where the spearhead is. Now likely this mystery is the result of the extreme budget cuts by the government to the US Forest Service. Still, I wonder what happened. Even more interesting to me, Dead Horse Cave is a labyrinth of extreme tight squeezes, underground streams and multi-layered lava tubes. The spearhead was found at one of the deepest sections of the cave. That means around the time when saber-toothed tigers and woolly mammoths roamed the land, some caveman was exploring this underground labyrinth with a spear and I hope a torch. 
Six, compasses that don't work. Many hunters claim that compasses don't work in the Gifford Pinchot due to large lava flows. In my experience, analog compasses have worked fine, but digital devices I've had some trouble with, including my digital compass not being able to calibrate, GPS units taking longer to calibrate, and the range of which I can control my drone uh, significantly decreases. It is mysterious. Five, McClellan's Lost Cannon. In 1853, George B. McClellan, American soldier and civil engineer, was tasked with looking for potential railroad passes across the Cascade Mountains. His expedition was large, between one and 200 people. They had mules and wagons and even a cannon with them, which they discovered was extremely difficult to get through the wild, rugged terrain of Skamania. They ended up ditching the wagons and cannon in the woods to continue scouting. Later, without proper reconnaissance, he recommended a high pass for the railroad. He also refused to explore three more suited passes. His job was terminated and the governor ordered McClellan to turn over his expedition logbooks. He refused, likely because he had colorful personal commentary. So to this day, the exact location of the cannon remains a mystery. Four, Ape Caves. At 2.4 miles long, Ape Caves is the third longest lava tube in North America. If you've never been to a lava tube, this cave is an amazing display of the unique beauty of a lava tube. What's more, it's family friendly. It's easy to access because there's a nearby parking lot. Just make sure to bring a headlamp and use the restrooms before you enter the cave. It's a natural mystery everyone can enjoy. Three, Lava Forest. At the foot of Mount St. Helens, near Ape Caves, about 2,000 years ago, an ancient forest was overtaken by lava. But instead of erasing the forest, the trees left an imprint on the lava, acting like a cast as the lava flowed around them. Today you can see where the lava poured over the trees, now long gone. You can actually crawl through the lava tunnels created by the fallen trees. Just don't leave the trail or you might fall down an undiscovered tree well, which can be more than eight feet deep and are really hard to get out of without help. Two, D.B. Cooper's loot. In 1971, D.P. Cooper hijacked a Boeing 727 between Portland, Oregon and Seattle, Washington, extorted $200,000, it's about 1.3 million in today's currency, parachuted out of the back of the plane with the money somewhere over the Gifford Pinchot National Forest and disappeared. The FBI mounted a massive manhunt, but found nothing. Years later, in 1998, a young boy discovered a small cache of ransom money on the banks of the Columbia River, but to this day, nobody knows what happened to the rest of the money or who D.B. Cooper even really was. And number one, footprints in lava? This is probably my favorite mystery in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest. There are foot and handprints in a lava flow beneath the lake. They were actually lost for decades below the waters of Goose Lake, Washington. But every 30 years or so, the water gets low enough that you can see them. And in 1990, casts were taken of them. The prints are estimated to be about 2,000 years old. They are over an inch deep. Some speculate that they were carved in the rock in alignment with the solstice, but the prints are unusually realistic. The spelunker and rock artist who rediscovered the prints at the bottom of the lake also noted that there's a single mysterious bear paw print in the middle of the lava flow several miles south of Goose Lake. But I wouldn't suggest looking for it. Several people have died in the rugged, disorienting big lava bed. If you want to see the cast of the human prints for yourself, visit the Forest Service Visitor Center in Trout Lake, Washington. How about you? What forest mysteries have you come across? Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and share this channel. And thanks to all of you who already have. Visit my Patreon page to find out how you can support this channel as well. I'll see you next time here on Rat and Cat.